What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, we're going to be talking about DeMarvin Leal, um, defensive lineman out of Texas A&M. Um, so, he's about 6'4 and 290 pounds. Um, I personally see him as more of a three-tech, but I think he could um, do a little bit of two-gap things. Um, now, Texas A&M mostly uses him as an edge rusher, which I think is stupid. Uh, I don't think he's a very good edge rusher. I don't think he really has much bend. Um, but I would love to put him in B-gap and just let him be a terror in there. Because um, he has burst. He's very twitchy. Um, now, I will say on the edge, he does contain pretty decently. And he squeezes close to the tackle, um, which is nice. Um, and o overall, he's pretty decent in the run game. Um, but like I said, I just don't think he really has that natural bend. Um, that you're really looking for. And as an edge rusher, he's got a little bit of burst and twitchiness. But if you put him on the inside, that would be so much more effective. Um, trying to go up against those guards who are usually a little bit slower. Um, he does have a tendency to run down the middle of people. He definitely has a lot like technique-wise to work on. Um, he, he needs to rush with a lot more of a plan. Uh, usually he just tries to utilize his natural gifts, which doesn't always work against tackles, which is, again, why I want him to go inside. Um, but one thing I will say, he is a very high-effort player, and he attacks the entire play. Um, even if like a play goes away from him, he will still try to disengage and run toward him and hope he can make something happen. Um but he, he does have a lot to work on. He does get his hands inside pretty consistently, but he doesn't always seem to know what to do with them once he gets them there. Uh, he definitely needs to, you know, learn to pull cloth, learn to uh, do swim moves over the top, swat the hands down. He got, he, he's got to pick some of those things up. Um, but I do think he might be able to do some decent two-gapping things because uh, when he does get his hands inside, sometimes he is, like, looking around and uh, controlling both gaps so I think he could probably two gap a little bit too but I really do prefer him as a three tech just line him up in B gap and just let him go um I definitely don't like him as a full time edge I think he can play edge at the next level in like uh desperate situations like if you are really hurting at edge like you have a bunch of injuries or something like that um then sure do that but Full time, I'm I'm not really a fan. I'd rather him be in, in B yet. Um, but the the big thing is he has a lot. Like I said, he has a lot of technique to work on. He really needs to start rushing with a little bit more of a plan and even a backup plan if that fails. Um. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.